not your typical 10 out of 10 niche fragrances video coming right up. Stay tuned. What is going on guys and welcome again to another video. In today's video, I have a good video. What I think at least is a good video. I just love this type of videos to show you guys my favorite fragrances that not a lot of people talk about them. Enough Creed Aventis and Baccarat Rouge. These two fragrances are great, but they're overdone. So in today's video, I'm just gonna show you 10 great fragrances niche-wise that I personally consider them 10 out of 10, okay? These 10 fragrances, they're not in any particular order. I just wanted to make them like top 30 or probably more because I just have a lot of 10 out of 10 niche fragrances. I just love my niche. And I was like, you know what? Let me just make it top 10. And if you guys enjoyed that video and just wanted a part two, comment in the section down below and give me some likes, okay? So uh, number 10 that I just grabbed randomly, it is Chambre Noir by Olfactive Studio. This is uh, an oldie but goodie, okay? Not a lot of people talk about it, especially nowadays. And it's not a one fragrance wonder from a brand because Olfactive Studio, in fact, they have some pretty good stuff. Not known for a lot of people, but they have good stuff. But Chambre Noir is the best of this brand, bar none. It's like leather, incense, sweet plum. And what I like about sweet plum that it is not overly sweet. Plum, in general, is not too sweet in fragrances, and they just have that great, great, darker, fruity notes that's kind of like grape in a way, but not too sweet like grape. I just love plum in fragrances, and they just effing nailed it in this fragrance right here. Chambre Noir by Olfactive Studio, it is a 10, period. Number nine on my list that I just grabbed randomly and a little pissed because uh, I thought it was a little dirty, but when I, once I tried to clean it up, uh, I just kind of like uh, shaped the paint of this collectible bottle. So I'm a little bummed about it, but I've been having this bottle for the longest time. And I'm talking about Back to Black by Killian. A little bummed that just kind of like scratched the surface out of the paint of that bottle. Yeah, I'm a little pissed. Oh my God, I was a little pissed, but once I took just a little whiff of that fragrance, my goodness, this is the best honey note in fragrances bar none. Yeah, it is a 10. Seriously, there's no other way I think of anything else but rating this fragrance besides a 10. Uh, the way it makes me feel every time I smell it, it's just indescribable. Sometimes you just don't know how to describe things or how to talk when you smell something that beautiful or something just makes you feel because sometimes fragrances make you feel. And that what happened to me with this fragrance right here, Back to Black, it makes you feel. It is an absolute aphrodisiac. And if you're into aphrodisiac, you just might like this fragrance. If you overspray, it could be a little way too strong and could be a little bit animalic. Aphrodisiac, sometimes it's a little animalic. But it is just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Back to black, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, that ah oh, came out of the bottom of my intestines not even my heart below my heart does it even make sense i don't know uh, yeah next one up it's a uh, tom ford noir extreme oh my goodness another great one very sexy very manly very elegant this is very elegant it's not a shouter because elegance is not a shouter the coffee note, the spices, and the vanilla, and how everything combined together in a beautiful and describable melange, that's how Tom Ford Noir Extreme smells to me. It is an absolutely, absolutely gorgeous scent. If you are a man and just want to be handsomer 
automatically but not trying too hard i highly and highly again encourage you to try noir extreme out it's just a beautiful scent and it is a 10 out of 10 even though it's not a shower let's just go pick another one up and this one it's a little bit daring because it's not for everybody but there's something about it yeah something about it that it just smells gorgeous it's very woodsy not oody even though it says oud in it but i don't find it to be woodsy it's more like pencil shaving a lot of melange of a lot of wood woods mixed all together i'm talking about royal oud by creed by the way this is a very vintage bottle as well i've been having this bottle for over 10 years so that's why this fragrance that i have in my hand lasts on me till next day unlike nowadays creed royal oud that doesn't last s h i t this one is like gold right now literally couple of sprays it lasts on me until like next day it's just a melange of just woodsy woods you just feel like you are in the forest like literally like in the earthy woodsy forest but once this fragrance dries down and especially this vintage bottle i'm talking about probably eight hours later it turns into a very velvety soft cloudy vanillic a little sweet from like vanillic I see in a way with that woodsy note it just becomes very velvety that's the best way I can describe it and that's the best part about it there's something about it that I truly do enjoy Royal Oud uh, by Creed vintage an absolute 10 out of 10 for me that's it let's go to the next one up because i don't want to make this video way too long because i am hungry actually i'm just gonna go grab something to eat right after this video and ah this one oh my god this one unfortunately just got discontinued black gold this is a fougere scent and probably between this and another one probably this is the second best fougere scent ever created just if just wanted to be honest honest i don't know at this point but probably tomorrow it's really hard i don't know what to say i don't know how to rate it because this is absolutely top two best fougeres ever created uh, this one lasts it projects beast mode smells very expensive i'm talking about black black gold i was gonna say black wood black gold by hormone jane absolutely gorgeous everything about this fragrance just creams class elegance wealth this is wealth in a bottle literally wealth in a bottle i'm, I'm really bummed it was first of all very expensive when it was still available imagine now when it's discontinued let me know in the comment section down below because i'm like really running low of this fragrance and um, i would love to know if any other fragrance maybe a good clone of black gold by hormone jane is out and about because i would love to purchase it um, this is extremely wealthy expensive 10 out of 10 without a doubt type of a fragrance the next one up is a, it's a Guerlain. It's one of my favorite Guerlain from L'Art et la Matière collection. Guerlain is a Guerlain dude. It just, Guerlain is a Guerlain dude. It smells like wealth and it's very classy, very elegant. And that is Bois d'Armenie. An absolutely gorgeous slept on fragrance from La et la Matière collection that I personally love. Benzoin, it's one of my favorite notes and it smells like spicy vanilla if you don't know how Benzoin smells like, but a very classy spicy vanilla. And they nailed it in this fragrance right here with some incense and uh, some vanilla and oh my god and some like really darker nuances and a lot of spiciness as well if if you wanna smell elegant if you wanna smell elegant and handsomer 
on the spot just the same as uh, Noir Extreme by Tom Ford this is not a shower but it lasts for a long time as well Bois d'Armini is one of those fragrances that just makes you smell extremely handsome it is a 10 out of 10 for me and one of those fragrances that makes me feel do you have any fragrances that makes you feel let me know in the comment section down below let's just move on with another one yeah this one is a freshie because we just don't want to go dark 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 sometimes freshies make you feel i have few freshies that actually makes me feel and uh bergamot 22 gorgeous 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 one of my favorite summer fragrances like bar none throughout the years i've been smelling and collecting fragrances for i don't know over 12 years now or so and i haven't smelled anything that would beat bergamot 22 when it comes to fresh fragrances um, there's a few that i personally love that i just debate between which one is my favorite but every time I'm telling you, every time I come back and I smell this one or I wear this one, I was like, fuck, dude. Sorry to swear, but I was like, yeah, this is the best. This is the absolute best. So I personally think at this moment that this is the best fresh scent that ever created. Correct me if I'm wrong. This video is cray cray crazy, dude. I don't know what to expect, but uh, I just make videos that I feel like they're good. So give me a like if you think or you feel that this video is good. Uh, the next one up, it's again from the house of Frederick Mall. One of my favorite Frederick Malls that uh, it is a very slept on fragrance. Not a lot of people talk about it. Everybody talks about portrait of a lady and musk ravager. But not a lot of people actually talk about Dries Van Noten. This is very elegant. All these fragrances, if you're a youngster, a teenager, they're not going to be for you. It's going to have to be a little grown up physically and mentally to enjoy these fragrances, to actually feel them. And uh, Dries Van Noten is one of those fragrances, sandalwood to the max. If you just love sandalwood, this is one of the best sandalwood fragrances that ever created. Very elegant. Very elegant. Dries Van Noten, I just love this one. It's not a shower as well. All these fragrances, not all these fragrances, like Tom Ford, uh, Bois d'Armini, uh, Dries Van Noten, they're not showers. They just kind of like stick close to the skin. They last like till next day. But they're not showers. If you just overspray, that's what I do on them. It just, it just smells amazing, dude. It just smells amazing, I'm telling you. Last two. Let's uh, go with the best fougere. What I think the best fougere alongside with uh, Black Gold by uh, Ormond Jane. And I'm talking about Invasion Barbar MDCI. Holy crap. Holy crap. I haven't worn this one in a long time and I remember back in the day when I started reviewing fragrances I was younger so I wasn't into fougere fragrances and I thought it was they smell old you know now I'm into them I'm old but uh I just love this fragrance I just loved it out of the first sniff I wasn't into fougere fragrances but I was like oh my god this is one of the best smelling fragrances I ever smelled bar none like literally bar none it's very spicy green fresh with the lavender and everything and it just smells gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and it is timeless this fragrance was out for the longest time and it's still not outdated or anything oh my god if anybody smells this fragrance or anybody haven't smelled this fragrance Please do so. Uh, MDCI is not cheap. It is expensive, especially if you got it with the bust. I don't have the bust because I just don't want to add like a couple of hundred dollars only just for a, a statue cap. No. I really have to be dressed up on point. And I feel the bestest on point to be able to feel and rock this fragrance. Yeah. 
last but not least, and I'm telling you, all these fragrances are 10 out of 10s. I honestly think all these fragrances 10 out of 10s and uh, they're not in any particular order. And African leather is number one. Holy shit. <laughs> It's just crazy good. It is crazy good. The dog is barking, probably smelled it off the cap as well. Uh, cardamom, one of the sexiest notes. It is absolutely gorgeous, guys. It's just leather. It's not overly leathery. The vanillic aspect in it, it's not overly vanillic. It's a cardamom bomb. But the cardamom here just comes across very sexy. Cardamom, one of the sexiest notes. Ever. Let me know in the comment section down below if you wanted a like top whatever cardamom fragrances Yeah, let me know. I can do that video I'll, I'll research and look into all the fragrances that has a very good cardamom note And I just do that video for you But let's just comment in the section down below if you wanted a top 10 cardamom notes and fragrances I'll do that video for you, but African leather. Oh my god, dude, and it gets compliments too. It, it enhances your physique and my physique is lacking so I just need some enhancement so that's why I just have to have African leather into my collection yeah don't forget to give me a like for encouragement and uh, share this video click that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it to not miss any of this guy in the future and let me know in the comment section down below what fragrances do you think are 10 out of 10 for you? I would love to know in the comment section down below. Let me know in the comment section down below if you wanted a part two niche. If you wanted a designer version, I can do that also as well. Just comment and uh, let me know so I can do more videos for you in the future. I want some ideas. And I want to do what do you guys want to watch on this channel. So comment. So this is pretty much it and uh, see you guys next time. Peace.